What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Through A Podcast. I'm your host, Jerks. And joining me today, as always, is JD McKinney. Okay. <laughs> uh, That's me. JP. The My man. man. AKA Lisa. My man. And then we got Public Enemy 59, AKA Lose. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, we got a big boy for gaming today, and that's where we're gonna start in gaming. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Game over. So this past week we had EA Play Live event happen. Uh, it was a lot of video games, a lot of conversations, <laughs> but overall, I mean, the people we were doing a watch along uh, on stream, and honestly, a lot of the the reaction was, "Hey, this is more entertaining than what we've seen for PlayStation." But uh, uh, we'll, we'll get into that right now. Though. Yeah. One of the, one of the one of the reasons is because this felt more like I'm at a football stadium watching an exciting game versus Sony's presentation was more like we're we're in the opera. This is an orchestra playing. You know, it was more artistic versus what EA was showing, like more rah rah rah. Because in EA's play event, we got Star Wars Squ- Squadrons finally. We get to see gameplay for this. And I was holding out for it to see if it was a worth a buy for $40. Oh my God, it is. What'd you guys think of the Squadron trailer? I actually enjoyed it. It's very... Because I played the Rogue Squadron for the GameCube version. I thought that was a really good game. <laughs> um, this looks like it's up to it. And like from what me and JD were discussing earlier, it looks like you're, it's customizable. You can change certain things. So I hope we still have that option. You can play both the Empire, which I like, and also... Uh, the Re- the Republic. Um, it's gonna have Tie Fighters, uh, Tie Wings. We got the X Wings, the Y Wings. Uh, so I'm I'm excited for it um, to play it. It looks really really good. The graphics look amazing. And you said it was gonna be forty dollars. It's forty dollars. And here's 40. a little bit of a TLDR of what's included. This game is gonna be crossplay. Number one, you can play yes. it on anywhere yes. from any with anyone. Uh, it's going to have full VR, so if you're playing on the PlayStation oh. VR or your Oculus, or etc., you can play this entire <laughs> game in VR. Um, again, yes, it's $40 entry. It has a it has a storyline, and it has multiplayer. But I think they were saying, too, that you kind of have to go through the story before you get to the multiplayer to unlock all the ships or something. Uh, yes. The multiplayer is going to be a 5v5, uh, like, uh, you know, space fights and whatnot uh very customizable the you can customize the ships you can customize what you attach to them uh you know the speed and etc it's it's going to be one of those games where they're trying to go into simulation but they're going to try to keep it as much possible as arcadey as possible i mean you're you're going to have the vr experience is going to be freaking crazy i'm i'm looking at the trailer now with the cockpits itself Mm -hmm. and like seeing it for the third time just be because now i'm not focusing i'm looking at the actual cockpit it looks super amazing um i'm pretty sure with the vr the little things that you have in the ass i don't know what the fuck they're called uh Jersey. you know little yeah whatever yeah i guess you could play with that oh, I, I'm oh okay, okay yeah you know there what you i'm go. talking for your oculus yeah 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 i mean as a yeah. as a psvr user i'm excited i know that the resolution on the psvr isn't going to be great i'm fine with it I'm willing to take a dip on resolution to play this thing on 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 VR. You guys, the PC users, the Oculus users, man, you guys don't have that limitation. Mm-hmm. You guys are gonna get great resolutions, uh, and be able to play it on VR. I I mean, it's a win-win, and we can all cross-play with each other regardless if we're playing on VR. Which is yeah, I mean, yeah. it's a win-win for everybody. So you play how you want to play. Um, <clears throat> I mean, yeah, just this kind of freedom that they're giving everybody for 40 bucks. I mean, come on. You you got the Interceptor. You got the A-Wings. You got the B-Wings. You got the Y-Wings, the X-Wings, the U-Wings, the Reapers. Uh, uh, you have, I'm pretty sure you're going to unlock, like, badass, uh, uh, like, the Millennium Falcon, uh, uh, you know, the ship for. Uh, nah, I don't Dark. think, I don't. I'm pretty sure. Sure it, they I don't think to. they're going to put the Millennium Falcon in there. I think yeah, they then sure you'll be too OP. A, no, no, I, I think you you sh- they should. Um, the story trailer looks pretty good. You can play on either or side. It's gonna be cool because you can have a, a squadron, an actual squadron of your friends, like us five on a, on a squad, and then like your the Empire and another squad, or vice versa. Mm-hmm. It's it looks it just looks amazing, hands down. Yeah. Probably the most talked about game that came out of this. See, my my only problem is I used to play Galaxies, Star Wars Galaxies back in the day when they had the jump to light speed. So that particular flight combat was awesome to me, and I'm hoping they emulated that with this one. The, the customizable ability is, is already 
on, you know, I'm already jumping on point for that. I'm like, that's great. Um, but the thing with the, with that flight combat is you could actually target each other's engines or weapons or stuff like that, and you could target specific parts of the ship and disable them before you actually destroyed them. Mm-hmm. So I'm kind of curious to see if that's what they're gonna if we're gonna allow us to do that with this one as well, as far as that kind of gameplay. Yeah. But yeah, I am definitely looking forward to the VR experience. I said I just showed you know, yeah, so it my Oculus and my, my controllers. You know, especially, to, yes. Yeah, especially with that. Um, you know, you know, you have you have to do the single player before you can learn the multiplayer. So if you're doing, yeah. if you are a VR player, give you a lot more time to get used to the controls and stuff yeah. like that. Before you go into multiplayer and start whipping people's ass that way, so it's gonna be fun. It looks yeah. fun, exciting. Uh, yeah. Some other things they showed at EA Play. They show some more uh, the current season for Apex Legends. They show some more events oh. that they're gonna do. But oh my god, did they get me away, bro? So they're gonna add. Uh, they added like this evolution shield where it starts off at a level one, but as you like fight enemies and whatnot, it it like gains its power. But they added so much, and the best thing they finally added that was rumored since day one is crossplay. Crossplay is coming at Apex Legends. It's going to come, I think, sometime in the fall, they said. Uh, yeah. They changed some of the mechanics and some of the, the characters, like Lifeline's uh, revive. She has a shield whenever she tries to revive you, but now she's mobile. Not She doesn't have to stay on you. Um, they're going to add, like I said, the evolution shield as a standard. Uh, some other some other changes that come to the game, but these are going to be for like kind of like a like an event thing. So it's not the main core of the game. Um, it, so far for me, I think as far as VR, this has been the most fun to play, the most challenging, the most like most. I I don't want to say balance. Well, yeah, I want to say balance. So let's say balance because a, a lot of these VR games, like you're easy to get in murdered by kids camping everywhere. This one, this one, I don't know. It just feels more fluid when it comes to the mechanics of the game itself and the way it plays, like the 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 circle closing, the 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 buildings, the locations, everything. It's one of the. Uh, it's still one of my favorite games, the multiplayer game so far. I still play it a lot. Uh, I cannot wait for this to finally be a thing where it's crossplay and it's coming to Switch. Yeah, and, and they didn't just show that one. Uh, <clears throat> it's not that. You also have Battlefield Tech. That was that. It looked pretty interesting. They show how the graphics look. Battlefield and the new Battlefield Tech, um, it, 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 the new the new information that comes out on it and how it looks like on graphic wise on the new gen console. They also showed a small what? teaser of Dragon Age, um, uh, also in this EA. Where? Uh, what are you? Where it's are EA, you play, I, EA play. <laughs> EA play live. I'm sorry. EA uh, play live. I'm, I also had that too. Oh, uh, so I didn't watch that. I didn't see any of what you're talking about. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's an it's an EA play live. Trust me, it's there. Uh, they they, they show little small snippets, little small snippets. It was little small snippets. All right, well, going, back, going, going back to things that actually did happen during EA Play. It, it did happen. Uh, it did. They introduced a new game. <clears throat> it's called Rocket Arena. No lie, dude. This actually looked pretty fun to play. Um, I don't know if you guys caught the trailer for this one. It, it, it's basically like an arena fighter. You all have like <coughs> rockets and whatnot. It, it kind of reminded me like like a 3d Halo? like a 3d smash brothers because there's an arena that you can get knocked out of but you also have the opportunity to come back in i was like that kind of reminds me of smash bros but yeah. it, it looks it looks pretty fun it looks exciting to play i i think i am going to be like trying to play this when it comes out um let's see what else did they show they showed oh they showed uh some that you know that you remember you guys remember that guy from the game awards who was like uh fuck the oscars and whatnot well he, he yeah brought, yeah, he also made uh, what was it uh, the that game where you play with the two a uh, way out. Uh, he also made that game. Well, he's coming back with another game. I think his name is Joseph Ferris or something like that. Wait, what? What? What, what, what just happened? Uh, 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 you cut off Elias. Oh, I heard him. Yeah, um, I mean, I heard him. <laughs> well, oh, okay. yes, they're coming back with that. And the other thing they also inter- uh, were talking about during the EA Play Live event is that most of their games now are moving to Steam on, on the PC side. Because right now EA has their own uh, Origin uh, client, which is kind of ass, to be honest. But it, it looks like they're starting to migrate all their games to Steam, which more than likely means Origin access or Origin itself, the client, might be going to the wayside. Um, they showed a little bit more of, of Madden 21. Uh, they showed uh, Burnout Paradise Remastered coming to the Switch. And uh, what else did they show? I think there was another one I saw too. I Oh, the big one. Well, quote unquote, if you like this game. Skate 4 has been officially announced. Uh, Los. Supp- supposedly, supposedly, like, this is one of those games that everybody on the internet has been wanting for, like, a very long time. Because EA has been sitting on the EA, like, I mean, <coughs> like, skate, like, licensed franchise, uh, whatever, for some time it's just been sitting there but we finally get confirmation that will be more skate coming 
um, they they were talking to the developers and they were saying it's super early, like they don't have anything to show yet. But it's super early. It will be coming back. And they even said it was because of people who were championing for it, who people all over Twitter at it again, like like who wanted this game to come back really bad. Now I'm not I'm not huge on skateboarding games. I mean I, I'll play the Tony Hawks and whatnot, but uh, skate was I did play skate. It was okay. Um, but for me, I, I think that was more like a simulation, like, like want to be kind of real more towards that versus Tony Hawk was super arcadey. Uh, but for me, I'll play more Tony Hawk just cause of that. Um, I don't know if you guys ca caught any of this part or even are into these gay games. Um, overall, I, w I was kind of disappointed in the EA presentation. Yes. Squadrons looks amazing. Apex, okay. Uh, also, when uh, when Lea said over they, PlayStation Two, I'm like, they did oh, they did announce that they have more games coming to Switch. They didn't show any of them. They didn't reveal any of them. Uh, I didn't see any big trailers for any other other big franchises. Because franchise. Switch I mean, is not a main console. Switch is just a small console. Okay. Uh, <laughs> besides the fact, I mean, other than Squadrons and 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 Apex, I didn't see any big game announcements. Me neither. Four, okay, but you didn't show any gameplay, so. I was kind of disappointed in it. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm excited for Squadron. I mean, but I think they didn't mislead you. They didn't mislead you. I mean, right, I never said they did. I never said they did. <laughs> Xbox, I'm just saying, like, say Xbox is like gameplay and this no fucking is, gameplay. No, true, true, true. Uh, but this is supposedly their their block that they were supposed to have for E3, right? Yeah. So this, to me, I equate to an E3 type presentation. And it, to me, it just didn't live up to it. Um, and it's not, but I mean, not... for everyone who's excited for all the games that they showed, great. It's just, uh, other than Squadrons, nothing <clears> really, <throat> really uh, nothing else I really saw I cared for. Well, and, and I, agree, I agree with Lowe's, the majority uh, of what he said. Uh, the one thing that we I'm noticing is uh, the, how these consoles are making their presentations on their play. Of their, their, you know what I mean? Like their presentations. Like mostly everything was going to be an E3. E3 was canceled. Now they're each doing their own individual thing. You're yeah. starting to see like they're not as I, they're not doing as great as I thought they would. I think now, their presentation. I, call that. I said that from day one. I would their rather presentation, have them all together. Yeah. Give me like yeah. a couple of days back to back. Yeah. We have yeah, to wake yeah. up for like content. But this this nonsense of like having them one by we're, one like this. Yeah. It's, it's, it's oh, like, and that's we're seeing. I, I, I want to make clear because, like, I I know we, we talk about each state of play, but honestly, this this uh, I'm checking a little bit differently here. This mm -hmm. is showing me that all of these they, they need to be uh they need to be placed in in E3. Like E3 is needed. Like yeah. That. No, and it shows you you would think these tech companies, these video game companies, would know how to present how to present their games, mm -hmm. how to do it over video. And we're seeing that they really don't. These guys don't haven't figured it out yet. Uh, oh. Sony to me has come closest, and because they were just kind of like back to back here, game, 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 game. No, the music, the music for PlayStation helped out a lot. I'm a telling lot you. Of the music. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like a lot of the people, a lot of the kids in my stream were like, I I'm liking this better, and I was like, I know why you're liking it better. It's because of the music, and it doesn't feel like you're yeah. in an opera house. It feels like you're in a stadium watching a football game. You're excited. You're pumped. Yeah. Like it's exciting, but it's just you know so it's your own kind of situation like i like them both yeah. right? but e, uh but ea was like for me i guess because i liked apex i was like yeah i was super hyped for that uh uh squadrons i was i was holding back to see if it was going to be good or not I, I didn't want to just jump on the bandwagon before they even show gameplay because i mean usually they did show how, gameplay though not not yeah. originally yeah they, they well yeah no, not, originally, not in the in this one did, yeah in, in not this originally. One, yeah, yeah. everybody was hopping on that bandwagon <laughs> did you see that cgi trailer it was incredible i'm like i don't want i want to see gameplay first <laughs> right the, Ooh, gameplay, CGI! the gameplay was amazing it was good i'm excited i'm ready to buy in uh squadrons skate four again i don't really care about um everything else they did show some other stuff i don't remember but again it's, it wasn't for me but uh yeah i mean it was it was still entertaining for me to watch it was fun uh but uh let's see i don't know i just gotta wait for squadrons october that's all i'm really i mean jd you understand the difference between like like the way they're presenting it and then the way it would look in e3 and how they spread it out i mean what what would you prefer yeah no you're right e3 um it definitely is it's time when you bring your a game and it's these are supposed to what they were going for their a game for this this year it was probably was a good thing E3 was canceled because it is this they would have flopped really badly <laughs> yeah. in front of an audience. In front of an audience, it's even worse because you can hear people saying "boo" and, and that kind of thing. And right sure, now they just got they just got everything on the internet. 
So yeah, yeah Greg Miller can't this save what they need. This is what they need. They, you need that interaction from the from the audience to let you know, okay, maybe we need to make a couple changes to what we're doing here. You know, <clears throat> right now they can filter out all the bad comments and everything like that, so they don't have to. They don't they'll never ever see it. But they need to. I'm just again, yeah. They, they need that. They need that audience interaction. They need that everything I need structured. I somebody to yell at Keanu Reeves that he's breathtaking. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm surprised that really EA, the biggest, it, one of the biggest game companies out there, didn't show more. It re, I'm really surprised. Or maybe what well, I'm thinking they, they is that they saying that they had more in the back burner, but they just weren't ready to show. And yeah, that's so smart too. Thinking, you know, don't don't put stuff out if you're not ready for it. Yeah, yeah. What it's I'm boxed. Thinking, hey, it's boxed. Hey, what I'm thinking is that they're kind of letting these other game companies show their stuff. So maybe you'll see all the Nintendo Switch games and Nintendo's presentation. And maybe you'll see more at the Xbox. So maybe they're like, oh, hey, we're not going to show all our stuff. We're going to let these other people show our stuff. And that's no, really the it, only it's, way. It's, a, it's something else. Why it's something else. Not. And I'm not telling you what it is. It's lack of competition. Because in E3, you always want to steal the show, regardless. It's lack of competition. Um, no one's really trying. Everyone's doing their own thing for their specific console. No one's trying to be like, well, I want to be better than PlayStation was. I want to be better than Xbox was. Like, yeah. there's no competition. I think the, yeah, how everything is separate is just also that too. This this is stuff that should have been prepared. For, there's, you know, it takes a while to prepare this stuff for for a com- uh, convention like that. Yeah. So this is stuff that should have been done months ago. You know, and it's, and they're, they're just not putting it out. Yes, but if this is what they had prepared, they weren't doing right. You know, they weren't. They were not preparing. Yeah, it. like I said, the they only... were getting ready for a test, and they had to study for it. You know, the other companies have to be showing the EA's games because for them not to show, even to be like, yeah. "Hey, we have Seven Switch coming. Just give us the name." The only way I can see them not sh- the reason for not showing most of their stuff is they have other companies showing their stuff. Hmm. All right. Uh, well, let's close out the EA uh, convo right there and move into the next topic here. Cyberpunk 2077 delayed once again, moving from September to November. Uh, here, let me read this article from Polygon really quick. Pull it up. Uh, Cyberpunk 2077, the massive RPG from CD Projekt Red, has been pushed back once again from to November 19th, following a previous delay to <laughs> December 17th. Yes, that's right. It was delayed several times. Wasn't it supposed to come out last year? I don't remember. Hey, um, so no, no, it wasn't I wanna, last year, or was it this year? It, was it, was it, was. it got delayed it was, twice it was earlier, and, March. and then it, was it got delayed March. three times, yeah. and then yeah. four times now, right? I I have no problem with this guy. Let's let's be clear. Oh, let me, let me finish s- reading this. Hold on. Okay, In a statement ahead, published by the game's official Twitter account, CD Projekt Red co-founder uh, Marcin Awanski, a head of studios of Adam Brodsky, I don't know, that's Brodsky, this is Skisky, uh, wrote, at the time of writing these words, Cyberpunk 2077 has finished both content and gameplay-wise. The quests, the cutscenes, the skills, and items, all the adventures Night City has to offer it's all there, but with such an abundance of content and complex systems interweaving with each other, we need to properly go through everything, balance game mechanics, and fix a lot of the bugs. Uh, this is the second delay for Cyberpunk 27. The game was uh, originally set to debut on April 16th. There it is. But pushed back to September, September 17th in January. Uh, CD Projekt Red noted that journalists are currently uh, playing a preview build of the game, which hands-on previews scheduled to go live on 20, June 25th. We hope this will satisfy, satisfy some of you who are hungry for the game as, week, as we work to polish it for the November notch, as the same is said. Um, and another quote from, I think they, they released like a Twitter uh, a Yes, note. it was a Twitter, a Twitter note. Um, it, it, I mean, basically the gist of it is that they're going to push back for the better of the game. Um, it, I... Mm. I uh, totally agree with that. I have no problem with it. And there's a couple of reasons why, and I'm going to go through them very quickly. Number one, what was the game? What was the game where the about where you get into that robot and you fly around and shit? What's that game called? You know what I'm talking about? The one that failed. The, the one, one that, that failed miserably for the one you were excited about. The one I was excited about. What's the name of that? That's how bad it is. Anthem. What's that name oh, of that? you know Anthem. what? Speaking of Anthem, though, oh man, I was really hoping to see something about Anthem. In yes, EA. that's I was gonna mention that at EA, but I didn't want to like no, no, well, because I know yeah. I know you wanted to see, and I, even me too. I mean, I'm like, shit, no. I want to see if they're gonna do. And something that's with my Anthem. point. Thank then, God, Cyberpunk has balls. They're like, no, we're not gonna do that because when 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 Anthem came out, it was freaking horrible with bugs. Now they're gonna go ahead and fix that. I don't have no problem with it. The second thing is that they're gonna go back and retouch on certain things. And, and make sure that they're correct. 
no issue with that either. With The Last of Us 2 and the, the situation that they're in and all the fuck-ups they've done, in my personal opinion, I and to fuck up a, a, a great game, not about bugs, but the actual <laughs> story, making sure the story makes fucking sense, uh, making, making sense sure that me. they... Uh, it makes no sense to me. And if you, then we were two on two I different eyes there. I bet you haven't played uh, it yet. Uh, all right. Doesn't matter. I've already seen it. But all right, Cyber, guys. All right, guys. But Cyberpunk uh, 2077, it looks like they're going to take their time. And yeah. I really appreciate that. I'd rather have a, a, the most perfect game that you possibly can give gamers uh, for that $65. And there's no DLC, guys. Keep in mind, everything is, is – I mean, well, there's DLC. No, but there they're, is they're DLC. Free. But they're free. free. Uh, so, yeah. I mean – Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, one thing that I like that they said is that in their statement, they put it on Twitter. Um, they said that the game is practically done. It is but done. That... No, no, they said it's done. It's done. Yeah. They're just going back and fixing stuff. Exactly. Yeah. And so they're just going back and making sure every – because they have so many <laughs> systems, so much stuff, so much content in this game. They want to make sure it all works perfectly. And I don't mind from September to November. That's two months. Uh, I mean, take all the time they need. Hopefully – I mean, this is me being hopeful. It comes out day one with the consoles as well. Yeah. So I don't know if the consoles the are already consoles. out by then or – Yeah. Yeah. So – Okay. Instead of me, which you know, either way you no, but they already if you spoiled, buy it on the old they consoles, said, you you can still they already yeah, said if, if you, you have it, Xbox One version and then you end up getting the Xbox Series X, you already have it for the Series X. You don't have to worry about changing yeah. anything. Just get your copy of Xbox True. One and you'll still have be able to Great play on jobs. Xbox Series X. Cyberpunk man, just killing this. Show but my thing, done. my Lord thing Jesus. is, if I have the new system and the game comes out and it's not out on the systems yet, it's gonna take a couple of months. No, I don't it'll be, be there. I, I, it will be there I, day one. It will be there. It will be yeah. there day one. No, they didn't. They didn't say it day one. They said. One. No, we'll they didn't say day, day one. one. They said that what yes, you're looking for is the, the game... is the upgraded ray tracing, all that bullshit, bells yes. and whistles. That yes. I don't know yet, but the game will be there regardless. The game will be yeah, there. it'll be available on both, both systems. It just may not be the extra I upgrade on the second PS5 system. Five Cyberpunk. <laughs> then wait your ass because Xbox is gonna have a day one. <laughs> Woo! Well, both both of them will. <laughs> if you have the PS4 version, you can play it on PS5. <laughs> Can't wait. And Xbox is the better. Yeah. It's better. So, I, look, Josh, JD, <laughs> Xbox you, is better. You, JD, you know did y'all see that rumor though? That Xbox is gonna be four hundred dollars, and that and that the digital edition is gonna be two hundred dollars. There's no, no way. There's that's, no way to get. They, the they would lose money right no now. Way. They would lose money. That's on that the, no. They no they're way. gonna lose money, but you know why? Because the digital edition means that you're gonna end up getting Game Pass, baby. Game Pass, that's baby. where they're gonna make their money. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> if it happens, hey, if it happens, which I doubt it, four hundred dollar Xbox Series. I X, doubt it's gonna be four hundred dollars, but if it is, <laughs> if it is, I'm gonna buy it. But okay. there's no <laughs> way. There's no way. <laughs> Woo! There's Damn. no way. If it's hey, if it's four hundred dollars, is it a day one buy? It's a day one. It's a day one buy. It's a day one buy. It's a day one buy. No, day one buy. I'm, I'm gonna buy a disc because I can literally just go digital, but just to support Xbox, I'm gonna go disc. Just because that shit. Just because that shit. No, bro, if it's four hundred fucking dollars, I'll buy that shit right now, bro. Right now, I'll buy it right now. Right now. <laughs> right, now. <laughs> right now. Like no, four hundred dollars. What happens if the, the PS5? The most powerful machine. Yeah. What happens if the PS5 is six hundred dollars or seven hundred dollars? Is that a day one buy? Nope. Nah. I, I'm gonna be Xbox in a month. End of the month. Buy I mean, everybody's gonna be excited for all the games they have on there, man. That's how they're getting you right now. I mean, look, I will, uh... I, I'm going to be working two or three jobs just <laughs> God to. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> well, I got I got other stuff coming. Along just for the, the PS5. So, uh, just, so the PS5 and Xbox, they, that's gonna be extra. So I have to like. Bro, if the Xbox Series X is four hundred dollars, I'm buying that shit day one. Yeah. All so right. With right the there. fucking camera. Who down credit? Camera. With that taco camera. Credit. Uh, Great. speaking of cancel culture, TwitchCon, San Diego canceled due to COVID-19 concerns. Uh, this is sad times for me. I was supposed to go. Uh, TwitchCon Good. San Diego event, which was due to be held in fall of 2020, has been canceled. This is from Polygon by organizers due to ongoing concerns about the novel coronavirus pandemic. TwitchCon is run by streaming platform Twitch and offers a place for streamers, uh, for their fans to gather. Uh, these conventions uh, offer meet and greets, esports tournaments, signings across the games that have yet to be released and other streaming related 
events. And this is the um, the statement posted by Twitch themselves. In March, we made an incredibly difficult decision to cancel TwitchCon Amsterdam. Over the past few months, we have continued to closely monitor the COVID-19 pandemic with TwitchCon San Diego weighing in our minds. Due to the restrictions on large gatherings and ongoing concerns with the health and safety for our community, the Twitch team and the local San Diego community, we have decided to cancel TwitchCon San Diego this fall. We are gutted that we won't be able to see all of you in person to connect and show you what we've been creating for you over the past year. While we can't gather in person, we'll be exploring ways that we could join forces in an alternative dimension later this year uh, we'll Twitch. keep you posted wishing everyone good health i, I mean i think it's it's I, I think twitch is very very popular uh for a lot of people i normally don't watch other people play video games or watch their content <laughs> except if it's the last of us too and listen because i want to do i want to run it anyway thank you youtube thank you youtube thank you save me full save circle. me 65 dollars but um, full circle. uh i i think that you know it's it's a good way for people to communicate and they to become a star and and you know shout out to them for doing that um you, shout out to I mean, jerks for being our yeah. Star shout out to jerks and our star and Twitch. Uh, you know, it, it's 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 hard to do that, and and I, I feel like that deserves recognition, especially if you do good content. Um, I mean, there's some girls. There was a girl like I saw on YouTube where she was like mad because she was like five dollar subscription is not that much. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was a uh, whole thing. On I mean, side. so yeah. th that's the negative. Every side Twitch of streamer it. does that. So no, no, I no. Mean, <laughs> no, they don't. No, they don't. <laughs> I mean, but, but you know, I see Jerks do that. Wait, I mean, what? Hell, why are you watching? Why are you watching Bullshit. my shit? Like, don't watch don't my shit if you don't have five dollars. If you have five dollars, if you're watching this, you can easily earn five to ten dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But anyways, I digress. Uh, the point is that uh, they, they, this is a way for them to get recognized, and you know that sucks for them. Uh, but I, they're still gonna get money. I mean, there's people like like girls that go on there, and I don't know why guys. I'm mean, well, I know why guys follow them. Yeah, you I mean, know why the guys are following them. Yeah, so I mean, and loads. Why? I mean, <clears throat> ass and titties. What is ass why? and titties? What does this have to do oh. with TwitchCon being canceled? But no, TwitchCon. That's that's where <laughs> that's where you can expose yourself to a other viewers. What, what was that? What we were talking about? Expose pushing agendas? yourself to COVID. No, expose yourself to like. <laughs> what, what I mean by like, 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 if Elias is if Elias is watching. You know, he, he's he's a presenter, and people are gonna go see him. And like, I'm a presenter. People are gonna go see me. Like, our two viewerships can might. Meet each other. You will be like, hey, you might want to watch this person, whatever, whatever. The it's whole, a good way to mark. To the network, whole real purpose of it is that the, 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 the presenters can meet their That's fans. The That's the real purpose yeah. of it. It's networking you know? too. It's networking. Yeah, it is. Too, it is. It is. And the same with like VidCon and, and playlists for for YouTube. I mean, it's it's a networking convention, but it's it's one mainly designed so that the presenters can meet the people who are actually supporting them, who are actually seeing them every day, you know, and actually get a chance to interact with them. It, it's it it, 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 it it is for benefit of the presenters because that interaction helps. More people, more people back in to keep them watching you because you seem more friendly, you seem more presentable, you seem more approachable, and that's what you want as a presenter. You want people to be able to say, "Hey, oh, I can go in and talk to this guy. You know, I could, I saw, I was able to, you know, to converse yeah. with him at a convention. I'll go watch him some more because he, you know, he's somebody, he or she is somebody that I can go, I can, I could talk mm -hmm. to at one point. Mm -hmm. I was so it, it, it really helps him out. Yeah. I was gonna have two bodyguards with me, make sure nobody gets nowhere next to me. <laughs> make sure everybody has to pay to just to even be in my presence. It was gonna be a fun time. I don't know. But I wouldn't <laughs> you're you're you can't like, afford that. I get canceled. So you were so you were gonna have people meet you, Elias, or you were gonna go meet people? I was gonna meet Ask people both in both ways. Like I was gonna meet people from the my community and people from other people's communities. Yeah. You go both ways? Ass and titties. <laughs> Ass and titties. All right. Yeah. And uh, the final thing here in gaming, uh, I guess get excited, kids, because it's coming back. A new Pokemon Snap game is heading to Switch, which I was, like, thinking about it. I was like, don't we already have Pokemon Go, which is where yeah. you take pictures of the Pokemon? Like, I don't Why would you pay for a Pokemon Go game that you already get for I'm free like, on your, on your, on your, on your phone? There? Like, what's going uh, all right. on here? All right. <laughs> So I played the first Pokemon <clears throat> on 64, and to be honest, I was like, okay, it's a you're just taking shooter. pictures <laughs> yeah, I did of too. Pokemon. Go to For Black Buster, reason, block, block and, Buster and get and your I thought pictures it was nice. developed. Yeah, yeah. And I thought it was nice. Okay, fine. It's a kind of cool little game. Why has this game developed such a fandom, such it's a Pokemon. following? Because like, people, people get high. 
And I take pictures of Pokemon. It's, 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 you it's, were high. Uh, it's the beer you were high. You it's, were high taking it's pictures the, of Pokemon. It's, it's that, uh, I forget what it's, the term is called. Whenever, like, you have fond memories of something when it really wasn't yeah. all that great. No. No. no, Stalin, no. no. I, it was yeah. just a, Hold it, yeah. Lowe's and his brother used to get high and, and and take pictures of fucking Pokemon while I was there <laughs> watching them take stupid pictures of fucking Pokemon that made no fucking sense and they were laughing while taking pictures. Right, that doesn't no, make sense he, because he's cute. I was he's too cute. young when Pokemon no, Sand came out. I, I was too young. It was young. like I wasn't, 14, I wasn't 14, 14, 13. What? 13. You, it was, you were 14, yeah, 13. Yeah, I wasn't, I like wasn't pining. 17. I wasn't pining at that age. Anyways. You were like 19, uh, 14, 14. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, I mean, I've never been a big fan of this game. I mean, sure, a whole other $60. This is a $60 game. So mm -hmm. let's take a look at Squadrons, $40. For, and you get online, you get all this shit. VR access. $60 for Cross a game where you're taking pictures of Pokemon on but, Rails. But, I mean, mm -hmm. is that really surprising to you? It's Nintendo. <laughs> I get it. Yeah. But Nintendo, I just don't get Nintendo the fandom don't give behind a fuck this game. About you. They give a fuck about their monies. They don't they don't yeah. like giving no, no, discounts no, for it. their money. Hey, they don't like to do online to shit. Nintendo. They don't like to keep up with their games. They're respect just to Nintendo, give me my making money. making their money. Respect to Nintendo making their money. All, I mean another company, capitalism, make all the money you want. By by all means. But yeah, I don't get it. I mean, they they're I just, at least I didn't see too much of, of, it's of Snap. Of yeah. You know, uh, not, EA has Nintendo is probably and, like the least work hardworking company there is. It, they they make it so easy. <laughs> they have for they, real. They That's have their following. Suck. Like they really don't have to do shit. Just like oh, you guys well, remember they, Mario? They are the OG. Here, here, yeah, here, the OG. here's Mario. <laughs> here, Carlos. Here's Carlos. Here, Carlos, 50, 60, 70 dollars. Hello, we're suckers for it, man. Hello. We well, let's Nostalgia. not forget this is the Pokemon company, which Nintendo only owns thirty percent of the company. This isn't really Nintendo. Oh, that's even this worse. This is the Pokemon that's company. The, that's the company that. This is involved. the Pokemon company. <laughs> that, that's that all they. That's all their Pokemon do. <laughs> Can you check if they're playing the GameCube uh, version still? Are they still on GameCube uh, uh, graphics? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, excited, not, not really wait. excited about Pokemon Snap. Yeah. They did announce that next week, though, they're going to have a whole other presentation dedicated to one new game. I think this is the next Let's Go that they're going to come out with. So it no, looks they, like they have... They're going to unveil the next Smash character, isn't it? I think uh, so, yeah. So, on yeah. the 20, on so the 22nd. Nintendo's yeah. having a Smash Brothers presentation. <clears throat> on, on Wednesday, Pokemon Company is having another presentation. Okay. And they said it's all dedicated to one Pokemon game. It so doesn't, I think, doesn't matter. <laughs> I think this is their next yeah. Let's Go, which isn't bad. I like their Let's Go series. They kind of remake all the old games and oh, uh, are they bring them do back. The, the Pikachu one? Uh, Pikachu, Pikachu! No, I think Pikachu? this one, I had to get... Pikachu was their first gen. I think now they might go into Gold and Silver, which I really like Gold and Silver. Mm. So if they go like Let's Go Gold or Let's Go Silver, I don't know what the hell they're going to call it, but a remake. I you, know cool. buy it. you know Lowe's going to buy That one, yes. That's worth 60 bucks. <laughs> it's a remake of a classic. Quick, uh, guys. This... Let's make a, a Pokemon game so Lowe's can spend 65 more dollars. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> because, look, and I don't mean you, Lowe's. I don't mean to say you, because there's a lot of people like, like you know, that just buy that. It's Pokemon. They just buy Pokemon. I mean, yeah. it is what it is. I mean look, yeah. I buy Legend of Zelda. Anything Legend of Zelda, I, I buy Legend of Zelda. But Legend of Zelda has never let me down. So you know, I'm saying that's just me. Well, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. So that's it. <laughs> well, I, I got I got one thing, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to pop this on you guys. It just kind of popped in my head a little bit ago. It's not actually. It's it's like the last thing I think for gaming. There was a release leak for the PS5. Now I will preface. It was this is on Amazon France, and they are claiming it's fake. Correct. They're claiming it's fake, and I think it's they're just covering their own ass. Yeah, but they're there coming leak, their own ass. There's a leak that it was supposed to be November 9th is the release date, and it was going to be like uh, roughly for American 450 bucks for the uh, discless version and 570 bucks for the disc version. Xbox, Woo! for the PS5, so. <laughs> Wait, what, what happened? I completely missed that. Amazon France accidentally posted the release date and price for the PS5, mm -hmm. and now they're claiming it was fake. But I think they're just like I said they're covering their own ass. But it was like roughly in American, it was it was all done in pounds. But for American dollars, it's like four hundred and 
let me see here, so like 450 bucks for the disc less version. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's like and 565 dollars yeah. for the uh, the one with the disc disc that's player. Not bad. The so, 450, the 400. Yeah, I mean that's not that's that's not a bad price for a console, really. Disc disc less? Nah, I still buy the disc version for Xbox to support. Yeah. The disc less version for PlayStation, both fitting, both fitting. But does it come with so, the controllers and, and all that stuff? Or is it oh, it's, gonna, it's gonna come with at least one controller, obviously. But I mean, I don't. It doesn't say anything else about that part. Um, so we'll with see. X, with Xbox for 500, I get all that. <laughs> Let's go we'll Xbox. See. Let's go Xbox. Yeah. Suck it, Los. Remember how they do the X? Suck but, it. Yeah, I mean, oh, that, that seems about right, right because they said it's going to cost about four hundred seventy bucks to to make these things. So that seems about a right, the right price. Yeah. So. I mean, I'm a, let's be honest. We're going to get both. The majority of us are going to get both. Yeah, probably. I'm getting both. Uh, but that's going to end it for gaming, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move into sports. <laughs> Touchdown! It's all COVID nineteen. COVID nineteen. <laughs> Sports. Uh, so let's, let's start off with the MLB. They're nearing a deal. So one of the deals they've been going back and forth. The MLB and the and the and the Players Association have been going back and forth about uh, restructuring the schedule, making sure everybody gets paid. Uh, well, they finally looks like they've getting closer to an agreement. Uh, According to ESPN.com, MLB won't counter players' latest offer, sticking to 60 games at full pro-rated salaries. Uh, this is the article again. Major League Baseball won't counter the MLB Players Association sure. latest offer to play 70 games this season. Instead, the league is sticking with its most recent offer to of 60 games at full pro-rated salaries. Quote, MLB has informed the association that it will not res respond to our latest proposal and will not play more than 60 games. And quote, MLB PA executive director Tony Clark said in a statement on Friday, quote, our executive board will convey in the near future to determine next steps. Apport importantly, players remain committed to getting back to work as soon as possible. End quote. So, you know what? <laughs> this is oh, oh, the owners finally gave the players what they want. Yep. The prorated sixty games, all the shit. The, the owners gave it to them, right? It, it, everything the players were asking for, they got in that proposal from MLB. What do they do? They come back with a counteroffer. Oh, we want seventy games. Ten games different. Ten games different. <laughs> But I think, now, I, think, I think they're going to expand the playoffs, the though. Yes. I, game's different. The and playoffs really, are going to be expanded, though. I honestly I honestly feel like uh, the baseball players get almost everything they want that they ask for. So I'm just like, fuck baseball. Um, yeah, no, uh, man. I, I'm, I'm like, yeah, the players got what they asked for. They always they get what they want. They, they want, want they more want. games in the regular season. They're the most and now the owners are like, America. no, we're not – they're the most paid sport in America. They barely do anything. They just literally sit, stand or in one spot and wait for the Play ball to come from. to them. I mean, Play like, baseball. dude, like, like, honestly, I feel like they should be paid less. Uh, I think they need to bring down the – and baseball's dying. It's a, it's a dying sport anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's like bat boxing. But, uh, you know, as far as the players themselves, I, I feel like they're asking way too much. But it's their right, too, to ask for that stuff. That's the reason why there's negotiations. Uh, this is also from that article. Um, here, let me continue reading. Uh, it says players now have two options: accept the six-game offer with expanded playoffs, along with a promise to not file for grievances, or reject it and force Commissioner Rob Manford to implement a schedule potentially without extra playoff teams, but still with the right to grieve the terms of the March agreement between the two sides. Uh, so basically it's it, now it's in the players hands. If they, if they accept it, they'll get the ball rolling in this. Or her, her, her. I don't know. Fucking baseball. Uh, I, I mean, honestly, man, this, this, this probably took too long because now yeah. it seems like we're getting that second wave of COVID that everybody was talking about. So mm -hmm. I don't even think this is even gonna happen, to be honest. <clears throat> Technically, we haven't got out of the first wave yet. But we'll, uh, I, well, I mean, we'll see. Is it, COVID has really affected a lot of the sports mm -hmm. uh, arena, I would say. Um, 
and sometimes in a good way and a bad way. Also, just regular life. It's just it's just a trade. I honestly don't care about these. Yeah, players. and then They're the pay, next so. topic we're gonna speak about doesn't help the situation either. Because no. supposedly this is supposed to be like a. I think the NBA is closest to actually doing it right, where mm -hmm. um they, they, they're gonna isolate these guys. Uh, play a little bit of the end of the season and then go straight into playoffs and everyone is isolated. I mean, they have technology. I mean, Disney came up with technology for these guys that no one has seen before. <laughs> the, with the with the with the wrist that calculates if you have COVID or not. So, uh, I mean, look, when it, when it comes to that, let, just just hop into the second subject. Yeah, uh, this is where and, we're and talking about uh, not only MLB players now, but also NFL players. Are starting to test positive for COVID nineteen. Correct, and and it's your responsibility too as a person to take care of yourself and not try to infect other people. For example, right. we now know a lot of Texans players and a lot of that well, Cowboys. Bill O'Brien players and Dallas Cowboy players <laughs> have got uh, uh, COVID nineteen, and apparently Ezekiel Elliott, the star running back for the Dallas Cowboys, threw a party, a party, mm -hmm. and invited all these NFL <clears throat> stars, and someone there had COVID nineteen and spread it to everybody. Um, yeah, so so what happened with Ezekiel was kind of interesting. So yes, he tested positive, but at the same time, like the results that of, of this were leaked. So I think he's gonna go after the people who leaked it, the the hospital or something, because that type of information is not supposed to get out unless the player says, yeah. okay, like the person who's mm -hmm. tested. So he, it seems like he's gonna go after those type of people who did that. Uh, the other thing too is. He was also saying that even though he tested positive, that he doesn't feel any of the symptoms, which is a whole different thing. Now. I mean, and but so did the Utah players. players. Yeah. So did the Utah. Donovan Mitchell had the same situation yeah. where Rudy Gobert was being a dumb out there. <laughs> like an idiot. Yeah, slobbering and everywhere. Then, uh, yeah, slobbering everywhere. And then they, he got COVID-19. So th this is an issue. You have to, as a, as a, as a person... And, and and not just a player, a person like try to take care of yourself from other, distance yourself from other people. Um, now in Houston, you have to wear a mask anytime you go anywhere out. Uh, on Monday it starts, and so you have to be responsible. So NBA players have to be responsible. You're trying to play a sport and get paid for the sport. So if you're told to be in quarantine, stay in quarantine. It's only for a couple of months, one or two months. Then you also have NFL players that are are being told if you're going to come to the team facility, you're not. You're probably not going to be leaving. We might get a hotel, have everybody stay there, but. These are people who don't want to be locked up. They want to do stuff. They have all this money. They want to use this money. And, yep. you know, we're starting to see that. Uh, specifically uh, keep in Keep going. In, I'm in, sorry. In, in uh, just, to, just to let you know, I got to go open the door real quick, but keep going. I'll be right back. Sure, sure. So my thing, my thing is, yeah, okay, we're not seeing a drop in COVID really yeah. now. Yeah. It's, it's starting to rise back up. Increase. Supposedly, yeah. these leagues were getting ready to play because – the curve was going down. Now that it's going back up and players are testing positive, that's going to change the whole aspect on but these deals. Are look these at soccer. going to want to go back? Look at soccer. What ended up happening with the guy that got the coach that got COVID? What did he do? He broke protocol and he left to go get something. Then he got COVID nineteen. The the thing is, if you want to play this sport, if you love this sport, if you want if you want to win, if you want to win a championship, you have to sacrifice. And mm -hmm. yeah, it might not be being able to see your family for the next two or three months, but you're trying to win a championship. And this to and, me and, but see, that's shows the mental for no. This to me shows your mental fortitude and how to yeah. separate. This is why there's these these players are not like the players from the '90s or the early 2000s because they don't know how to sacrifice. They just want me, 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 and they don't want to work hard for something. It's a difference between a working person and someone who just gets paid to play a sport. We have to sacrifice. We have to learn. So if my job opens up and I have to go back to the office, I have to adjust by their protocols, okay? Because I want to get paid. That's how mm -hmm. I get should my have been a, Should have been an athlete. I mean, well, hey, should have been my parents. No, they see, have unions. They have unions. We should have unions. We I, have I, will, unions see, I, I will equate <laughs> this. Again, I, I'm, I'm using my military experience. I'm equating to this. You got guys who go an entire year, sometimes 18 months, without getting able to – they have to mean essentially being quarantined in another area – Without being able to see their family, these guys volunteer. can't do. Volunteer. Yeah. No, no, so they're, still you getting, volunteer they're still getting. They're still getting. They're getting paid to do a job, and they have to exactly. do certain things to do that. Volunteer. These guys have only had to be quarantined for two freaking months, maybe three. And they can't. They can't freaking do it. And it's not that. It's not like they these don't guys have are any, to. And the thing is, these guys aren't any any younger than the guys out there who are who are on the front lines. You know? They don't have to. Los, Los always. Yeah, they do. If they want to play the fucking game, if they want. They don't have to. They don't have to go play to entertain you. That's not. They don't have to risk it. They don't, they don't join the NBA. Bye. Yeah. 
Well, they if don't you, have to play. If you can't follow the rules, get the they hell out. They have a union. They don't have can't, to play. If you can't follow the rules, I, get out. I, I, I like what uh, Adam Silva did. He's like, you don't have to play if you don't want to. Um, you don't have to come, and you won't be punished. And I agree with that. That gives opportunities for other guys who want to play, who want to be mm-hmm. better, and have the spotlight. I'm okay with that. They're going to have their opportunity. Yeah, this I'm is okay something that, that I, I, I see that th- these dumbass star players don't understand is that there's always someone out there to get your job. There's someone always right behind you, just like mm-hmm. in the real world. Um, you know, Just like in my job, there's people behind me. I might be the best at what I do. But there's always – in my job, there's always going to be some a replacement. Same thing goes. Uh, things will continue. The NBA will get its money. The NFL will get its money. Um, I don't know about MLB? baseball. Nope. <laughs> I don't know about baseball. Baseball is trash. <laughs> but everybody else, everybody else. Because we can see in soccer. In soccer, they're hey, playing with nice nobody. That's a nice you got there, Lowe's. Yeah, huh? the cheaters. The cheaters. Um, but, um, you know, that, like I said – Everyone, it, it, this shows me your mental fortitude if you really want to win a championship yeah. or not. If you're willing to give up and do you're what it takes to, to win a championship. For a championship. I would. That, that I tells would. me your mental fortitude if you're willing I mean, to that, die. Hey, mental fortitude, dude. If you're willing to fucking you die. Follow the rules, be, you follow the rules, you follow the rules, you'll be fine. Court. You're not going to yeah, die. Follow rules for yeah. if, I'm, if I'm James Harden and I'm like, I want to go to the strip club and I want fucking ass in my face, then yeah, you're asking for fucking COVID. Sit your yeah. fucking ass down, win a championship, focus 100% on fucking basketball and see what good comes out of it. If you want right? to get on phone help, I mean, jeez. Yeah. yeah. These are the, exactly. Come on. You get paid to play a sport. Come on now. Come on now. Come on, I have now. To play, man. Come on now. All right. Let's end sports right there. Uh, let's move on to our final conversation in pop culture. Pop, pop. Culture. Uh, <laughs> so right off the bat, uh, Mr. Masterson's, Danny Masterson's, a.k.a. Hyde from That 70s Show. Uh, quote, this is from CNN. Uh, actor Danny Masterson's best known for his role on That 70s Show was charged with three counts of rape. Los Angeles County District. Allegedly. Jackie allegedly. Lacey allegedly. announced he was Wednesday. charged, you know. Masterson was, was arrested at 11.30 p.m. PT on Wednesday and released shortly before 3 p.m. PT on, on a $3.3 million bail. According to information available to, on the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department website, Masterson is charged with forcibly raping three women in separate incidents occurring, occurring between 2001 and 2003. A press, from, a press release from the district attorney's office said his is uh, arrangement is scheduled for September 18th. And this is a statement to CNN Masterson's attorney, Tom Masur um, said, quote, Mr. Masterson is innocent and we're confident that he will be exonerated. And when all the evidence finally comes to light and witnesses have the opportunity to testify and quote, uh, the statement added, quote, obviously, Mr. Masterson, Mr. Masterson. And his wife are in complete shock considering that these nearly 20 year old allegations are suddenly resulting 20. in, Lord resulting Jesus, in really charges young. being filed. But they are, but they and their families are comforted knowing that the ultimate, the truth will come out. The people who know Mr. Masterson know his character and know the allegations to be false. Authorities say Masterson, who is charged with by his full name, Daniel Peter Masterson, is accused of raping a 23 year old woman between January and December 2001. He also allegedly raped a 20 year old woman in April 2003 and a 23-year-old woman sometime between October and December of that year, according to the press release. All the alleged crimes took place at Masterson's Hollywood Hills home, authorities said. Deputy District Attorney Reinhold Moeller of the Sex Crimes Division is prosecuting the case. If convicted, Masterson faces a possible sentence of up to 45 years in prison. The press release from the District Attorney's Office said the office declined to file sexual assault charges against Masterson in two other cases. Quote, one of one uh, for insufficient evidence and the other based on the statute of limitations for the crime alleged in quote. Hey, uh, what is the stat? How long is the statute of limitations? I think it's like, like 15 or 20 years, isn't it? 15. It's 15. It's 15. It's 15. Actually, right 15. So these are past that time. So, I mean, look, I, I'll find it. the guy do it when, when three different girls are saying you did the same thing. Okay. But you're past the statute of limitations. So, uh, I don't know. Well, I was reading a little bit into this, and supposedly, like, the rumor r- report going around here, and don't hold me a liable to hear, but supposedly this has something to do with him being a Scientologist? Okay, so the, these oh, authors oh, oh. are going out. He, he's, he's basically being another poster boy for, for Me Too, I, I'm assuming. 
Um, you already there's already people like com- convicting like oh he's he's guilty. I, I don't do that. Uh, um, Twenty years, Lord Jesus have mercy. Your fucking bitch has should have reported that in one or two years maximum. That's what I. That's my personal statute limitation. Um, because if you're gonna hold that shit for twenty years, what the fuck is wrong with you? Um, yeah, just my opinion. That's victim blame. Perfect. Yeah, but but well, I, if he if he did do it, if he did victim blame, really? Come on, we come with that term. Come on, if you if you the guys. No, if, if you're going to come out, you're going to come out. I'm not victim blaming. That's I'm saying you're if you're going to come out, if you did do it, then come out. That's what you're um, doing. But, um, you know, I'm pretty sure it's going to be like the same thing with Bill Cosby. We're like this one. We're going to say, I thought about it for 20 years, and I couldn't get up in the morning and look myself in the mirror for 20 years, and but I'm still alive. But and then uh, it's true, though. Uh, if he comes out, it's true. He's guilty. I mean, if he comes out, well, what do you want him to do? I, I just think this, the 20 years, come on. Now, if he did do it, I'm not saying he did, well, did not. Here, There's no evidence. A- Mm-hmm. Yeah, thing, that points to it. California lifted the statute of limitations on rape cases, oh, so there's no statute of limitations anymore. Oh, oh. so that's why. Well, they that's what it but they, going to jail. But they did that like, like two or three years ago. So this, I mean, at that point, these ladies should have been able to come out and say, "Hey, I got these charges against him. Why don't we just prosecute?" And, and, and that may have been. They may have. They may have brought that stuff up. They had to bring up. They had to take all this time to bring bring case if against it, him. Yeah, I mean, if, knows, you did you, if the evidence points to it, they have actual video. Uh, you know, this just this is just it just reminds me a lot of like just shit that's going on right now. Um, uh, and hopefully, you know, the, the truth comes to light, whether it be good or bad for him. Um, because this reminds me a lot of like they say it's just, it's just, all three women were at the same place, his place, his no, no, place. No. Well, that's what they're saying. So, no, that's a pattern that. All the three girls with different incidents, but it all kind of looks the same. They're all saying that it happened at his, at place. his place. Yeah, they began investigating back in 2017. That's place. why. It's, that's why it's it's now being charged against, being brought against him. Wow. So I, and they must have uh, some evidence, you know. Uh, well, uh, you know, don't rape women, man, and you won't get charged with rape. So. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, yeah, we've seen I cases think, where I where... think there's too much smoke here. I think, I think that the, the the link with Scientology is that Scientologists like they're like rumored to be known to suppress brainwash suppress <laughs> uh like allegations yeah they've been known they've been rumored to like make sure people don't talk uh they hassle people whenever they they come after their religion and yeah i mean honestly that's that's where this is coming from i like some of it uh but yeah i think last year the or two years ago he was also uh, yeah. News again, and that's when he got kicked off the ranch. That show he was doing, right. Fashion Kutcher. Correct. Um, I don't know. Uh, it, it could be a multiple, multiple, a multitude of things. It could be like, yeah, Scientology was paying these women to say hush hush, and eventually they're like, no more. It could be like he was paying them, or they were like just on the fence about it, and never actually pulled the trigger. Because I mean, we we're not these people. We've never been in those type of situations. I'm assuming. Right. So we don't know what goes on through their head. I'm not. I'm not gonna uh, jump to conclusions or judgment yet. I'm gonna see how this plays out first before I make any real like judgment towards this. But yes. you know, proven until you know innocent, innocent until proven guilty. Yeah, 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 correct, correct. Yeah. So I mean, if yeah, this, this is why he was removed from the ranch. So I mean, look, R. Kelly deserves to go to jail. It's too much, too much smoke and too much fire uh, on that motherfucker. Um, so yeah, you know, like I said, innocent until proven guilty. At the end of the day, it comes mm-hmm. down to the court and what's presented and, and what's done. I mean, um, there there've been allegations against Michael Jackson. Uh, even though he's dead, there's still allegations. People yeah. coming out years yeah. years later, and yeah. he's dead. Um, so we've seen a lot of these cases. We've seen cases where there's uh, women say, "Oh, he raped me," and the guy goes to jail, and then the woman comes out and like, "No, he didn't rape me. I was just like pressured." Yeah, there's, to say there's I, been yeah. like situations and moments where. Somebody would say, "Oh, this person drugged me, and then you know, use me for sex and blah blah blah." Uh, a good example is uh, Toby Turner from YouTube. <clears throat> he was he was accused of this shit, and literally it ended his career. It literally killed his career, and then it turns out she was lying. Uh, she was lying. It mm-hmm. it ruined his his sponsor deals with Minecraft. He had toys and in, in stores that had his name on them yeah. gone. His YouTube channels are like pretty much dead now. Like this type of shit is like very serious, which is why I'm saying I'm waiting till it's all like, right. like exactly. done, do justice versus just hopping on public opinions in the public court and being like, no, he's guilty, guilty, guilty. Carlos Rubio. Mm-hmm. Bam. So, uh, innocent to proven guilty. So we're moving on from that, our final here topic here is the 2021 Oscars have been postponed. Uh, Don't care. 
Last, Yay. they don't come out until <laughs> every February, I believe. But this one has yeah. been postponed. Uh, 2021 Oscars postponed to make room for more movies, despite Sonic. Uh, quote. This <laughs> 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 yeah. So this like, is an article from Polygon. Due to the delays prompted by the coronavirus pandemic and also a clear unwillingness to honor Sonic the Hedgehog with Best Picture, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Science announced on Monday a delay of the 2021 Academy Awards. Ah, give it to Sonic, Originally guys. scheduled give for it February, to Sonic. the cer- ceremony will now take place on April 25th, 2021. In addition, Sonic. the Academy will expand the eligibility Fuck window to name. include movies released between January 1st and February 28th, 2021. One, for over a century, quote, quote, I'm sorry, for over a century, movies have played a, an important role in comforting, inspiring, and entertaining us during the darkest of times. This certainly has have this year. Our hope in uh, extending the eligibility period, our, our rewards date, is to provide the flexibility film, filmmakers need to finish and release their films without being penalized. Penalized. I can't pronounce words today. Penalized. Thank you. Uh, for something beyond uh, anyone's control, end quote, said Academy President David Rubin and Academy CEO Don Hudson in a statement, quote, this coming Oscars and the opening of our new museum will mark an historic moment, gathering movie fans around the world to unite through cinema. End quote. Uh, so basically, ah. um, due to the COVID, a lot of movies are being delayed. A lot of people are now watching the movies. So they're going to push back their Oscars so people can watch. But at the same time, they're going to extend the eligibility period longer. Thoughts? Uh, don't care. Uh, the, they were already losing people who can host because they wanted to go to their dark, dark past from the 90s where everything was equal. And uh, bring that up nowadays, so eh, it doesn't matter. And there, like, I remember the one time where it was Saving Private Ryan and, and versus uh, what was that movie called? Uh, Sherlock, no, Shakespeare's Love Story, or what was it called? Shakespeare in Love. Shakespeare in Love and Shakespeare in Love won. So I mean, eh, Oscars, kiss my ass. It, yeah, the Oscars have been kind of politically motivated as far as the industry goes. It's it's not a, it's it's more of a popularity contest between the. Um, makers than it is uh, amongst the fans so I, I i don't think it's 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 uh, people start to realize that and i think they're starting to lose uh focus as far as where they what they originally were supposed to be about and i don't think people are going to be that interested in it you know, in a couple of years if, if they don't change things and again they don't evolve they're gonna they're gonna die you know did, did, didn't like gone with the wind win an oscar or something mm-hmm. like that they just took it off hbo so yeah i never yeah. see that um, give classic. it to sonic give it to <laughs> Staten island I mean, yeah, these guys, uh, I don't see why they postponed it. Just vote for what's out there. I mean, there's exactly. a shitload of movies still coming out. Uh, yeah. yeah, but people are, out. people are not watching all the movies that are coming out. And then people, and then there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, productions that are not finishing their movies that were supposed to come out this year. So that's why they're postponing everything to push back so they can Tenet's finish, coming out. finish the movie. Tenet, you know, James Cameron. Tenet was, has been finished was pissed that the the movie had to come out on July. And so the theaters are going to open in July just to show this fucking movie, Tenet. There's another movie that's out there, I forget, but, I mean, I don't know. Uh, theaters are about to go open up. Even if theaters open back up, no one's going to fucking go anyway, so. I don't know. There's, well, people whatever. there's a lot of yeah. pigs out there. They just have to start doing everything online. I don't mind paying online and eating, and, and eating yeah. popcorn for a dollar at my comfort zone. I mean, we just and watched I have, the King Sandman online. Know my shit. It was fine. Yeah, it was, it was tough. Y'all, y'all know my shit. My shit of shit. Yeah, see, that was, that was one of the things I found out on my Oculus is they have this little thing, this thing called Big Screen where you can rent a movie and then have a bunch of people come watch it. You know, you, you pay your pay your entry fee, you know, which is like four or five bucks, and you can go and watch this movie at a certain time with other people. And that's I think that's cool. a great way to do it. You know, that's, I mean, if you want to keep the kind of the movie experience, you don't have to be just don't have to just be VR. You can do it on, on computer too. You know, but they say hey, they just don't want to move. They just don't want to move. Yeah, at five bucks, move, yeah, at move, five bucks we're going to show generation. this. At five bucks, we're going to show this movie at this particular time. We'll show it again at this other time. We'll show it again at this other time. And you know, they got the technology where it can make it so it's hard to hard to record it. I mean, yeah, people are still going to find a way around it, but the typical person is going to do it. And then you could just sit there and watch it without a front. You can you can sit there and chat with people. You know, and again, you don't have to be quite in a movie theater like that. You can sit there and chat with people. Going, hey, look at this part. Oh, hey, did you guys see this part? You know, and you can. It, it might be more interactive as far as that goes. As people might actually enjoy it more. So. Yeah, I used to be on big screen. Did you ever go to that campfires one? We used to have YouTube videos playing with like, 
uh like rgb lights like they're blinking and then we used to put raves on it was amazing oh nice <laughs> no, I've, i just started playing around with it so i haven't really had a chance to go in too much into it yet kind of um, shit <laughs> but yeah postponed oscars 2021 april i'm still gonna get uh be watching because i actually do watch the oscars every year and we do the drinking game where we have our cards out and you know we fill them <laughs> out to see who wins who loses you, you get a wrong answer you get a shot it's fun um so that's gonna be it for our podcast episode today but before we go what are everybody's final punches? Uh, so my final punch is, no, I did not play Last of Us. Uh, two, I'm Next. glad whoever leaked it. Next. Le- uh, n- Next. Whoever leaked it. Whoever Next. Leaked you, it just, you just ended awesome. your conversation right there. I didn't play the no. game. Next. <laughs> so I'm glad they leaked it. Uh, I'm, I saved myself $65. Uh, it was a great way to save uh, money. So thank you so uh, much for whoever Neil and got, got now. Um, guys, uh, keep in mind that, uh, you might, you might want to watch this stuff first before you buy it. Uh, my final punch is the new DLC came out for Pokemon, uh, Isle of Armor. Uh, it's a $40 DLC, but you get this expansion and expansion in this, in, uh, winter. So this is half of it. Uh, ooh, for, for this being half of it, I... That next expansion, Crown Tundra, better be really good because the story on this one was maybe three hours. Now, yeah, it opens up a new area. It gives you a whole bunch of other stuff you can do. That's cool. I am addicted to the game again. I've been playing it a lot. But it just if the the next expansion in uh, November, December isn't bigger than this, then I'm going to feel like I wasted those 40. So we'll see. Uh, you didn't waste them. Let me tell you. That's them crazy. It. It's like <laughs> Nintendo's lazy about their games. It's yeah. Like, right? <laughs> that's so weird. <laughs> it's better than what they used to do before, which was release a whole third game and for 60 oh, bucks. Yeah. Now, yeah. now it, they're just like a sticking on pass the DLC. Yeah, now it's cheaper for them. Yeah. They don't have to waste on production. They just like, yeah. just, just buy it. But anyways. I mean, it's a better buy than The Last of Us 2. So there you go, Moose. <laughs> All right. Thank you, man. <laughs> JD, JD, uh, nothing, nothing really new. I mean, I've been playing GTA Five a lot, so trying to get the, you know, money up on that one. But other than that, you know, it's it's, it's hopefully everybody should be staying safe out there and just keeping the, uh, keeping the quarantine as best you can. You know, no. fuck this quarantine. <laughs> uh, yeah, we gotta be careful because they, they said we haven't we haven't finished the first wave yet. We're still in the first wave right now. So it has, yeah, it has summer, not. It has, honestly, the numbers have not gone down. Ending. Honestly, I feel like that first wave was over as soon as people started going back to the stores and whatnot. But that's the thing; it never, it never actually went down below the the, the curve they wanted. I was, I'm mean, so. Yeah, because you just catch the shit, here. lock <laughs> yourself up, sweat that motherfucking shit out, shut the fuck up, and then fucking try to survive. Survivor's game, Survivor's world, the cool. Yeah. cool uh, world. my final punch. Uh, I'm trying my best to finish The Last of Us. I played about eight to nine hours on Friday. I'm think I'm gonna try to finish it up on Monday on Twitch.tv forward slash jrx 4 x I got a TikTok, my newest TikTok video. I'm I'm super excited. It was over 3K <laughs> views. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> um, but how many likes did it get? That's the important thing. Yeah, like five. <laughs> 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 uh, let's see. You got to burst my bubble. Um, what else? I was going to say something. I forgot. Uh, well, I don't know. I forgot. Pokemon Snap? No. I mean, Pokemon Snap has already been on Pokemon Go. I right. Mean, you know. You know what it is though. I think I don't think I don't think people like like their reality come into their game, so that's why they don't take pictures of their Pokemon. So they prefer it in the video game world where they can escape it. You know what I mean? Is that? No? I don't know. I I think there's. I think if you buy this game, <laughs> you're stupid. So. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you're not a kid, if you're a grown man or a grown woman. You shouldn't be buying things. But if you if you're a kid and you're like, I want to take pictures and be a photographer when I grow up, go you go ahead and do it, kid. You can but, do whatever uh, you want. My I mean honestly the most exciting thing that's happened this past week, crossplay for Apex. I'm excited, dude. Yeah. I'm ready to play that with the with all of my console nerds. So uh yeah, so that's gonna be it for us today. Thank you so much for everybody watching and listening. Uh, for those watching on YouTube, thank you so much. We appreciate if you hit that subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell. And of mm-hmm. course, leave a comment. Let us know of, of anything you had to say for any of the topics, conversations we had. Please Last give of us, us two. Give, give us spoilers. Your, give us your two cents. No spoilers, please. Give us at least a week give before spoilers. we get to spoilers. Uh, and everyone listening on podcast platforms such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts. Thank you uh, so much for that. Uh, all brought to you by Anchor. Thank you. And of course, you can also catch us on Instagram, Twitter, <laughs> Facebook, and
Goodbye, everybody. Hey. Bye-bye. Peace.